Welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Welcome aboard, everybody. Thanks for checking us out this week. On the mics this week is the mighty Gantor. What is up, Gantor? It's just you and me. Just you and me tonight. What you up, know what that means. No, nope. no singing, no Z-Man. It's going all the way in. Oh, God, I hope so. I want it all the way in. I mean, <laughs> I want to be tasting the tip of your dick. Wow. Don't, don't tease me with that shit, Gantor. We'll see. Fucking, you better come strong with this. My wife's in the other room. I'll be self-conscious. Well, you know what? Your latent homosexual tendencies need to come out, and your wife <laughs> needs to know about them. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I mean, how are we going to care? How do we continue to carry on a secret, Ganthor? I don't know. It's not fair to anybody. Nice. <laughs> uh, this week, something must be done about uh, bands that should know better. A couple weeks this ago. was started by intern, actually. Yeah, right. So a couple of weeks ago, indirectly, Sorry. my wife, intern, as we affectionately refer to her, is an enormous Queen fan. Queen fan, and she got tickets to go see Queen not once, not twice, but thrice to see Queen fronted by Adam Lambert. And it's and, and it's, that's really the crux of the issue, right there. What's the crux of the issue there, Gantor? Queen fronted by the fact that you have to even say that is what is making us have this podcast. Well, I mean, they they advertised the show as Queen and Adam Lambert. It wasn't just Queen, right? It was Queen and Adam Lambert. I don't know because you said fronted by, well, that so was, that and implies to me a kind of opening act relationship. No, 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 no. There was no opening act. Adam Lambert was playing the role of the legendary Freddie Mercury. And there's Impo- no other way to impossible. say that. Impossible. What's impossible? That anybody could play the role of Freddie Mercury. I, it's true. It's got to be one of the hardest things to do, is to try it's... to sing a Queen song, even with or without Queen. It's like, it's like on American Idol. It's like one of those third rail types of things, right? You just can't sing like Freddie Mercury. Right. So don't do it. So here's, here's where I'm going to surprise you, Ganthor. I am going to say that Adam Lambert did a great job of being the lead singer of Queen. The first thing you have to do is you have to get past the fact that he's not Freddie Mercury. That's the whole point, though. But you have to get past that. No, you can't. Why not? Queen is Freddie Mercury. No, it's not. Queen yes, is... It, no. ask, ask 10 people on the street to name somebody from Queen besides Freddie Mercury. I doubt you will get one person who could. I, I I bet I'd get at least a couple of people to say Brian May, but you're right. Most people will associate Freddie Mercury with Queen because he's just he's just iconic. The voice is iconic. The performance is iconic. But here's the thing: Lambert didn't try to be Freddie Mercury. To his credit, he realized that he's not Freddie Mercury. But that guy can sing the hell out of a song. He had range to spare, and you had to have that range, and you had to have the kind of theatricality, the flamboyant approach to the songs. I mean, you had to have that. He wasn't the same showman Freddie was. He wasn't the. He didn't have the same kind of emotion or power that that Freddie would sing with. But he put on a great show, and he sang the hell out of those songs. Which is fine for him to do as himself. And and I guess my problem's not so much with him; it's with the remainder of Queen. So so that's that a, think they yeah. should still exist as a band. They shouldn't so just a, live off your point. royalties and be done with it. It's a fair point. In fact, John Deacon was the bass player for Queen. And when Freddie passed away, John Deacon threw his arms up and he said, I'm out. I am not going to do this without Freddie. So he, yeah, there you go. So that's, he, that's, what, that's the rule. That's right. That's what happens. He's like, I'm out. And Brian May and Roger Taylor, on the other hand, made like a little cottage industry out of the idea of Queen. In fact, Roger Taylor uh, and, and Brian May have gone so far, Roger Taylor being the drummer and Brian May being the, the lead guitarist, have made it their kind of like a business. Right, where they went out and they recruited a, uh, a cover band called The Queen Experience. They went out, they auditioned them, they brought them in, and they helped them you know, with, the, with the music or what have you. It's stupid. It should never have happened. So what, what could have happened, Ganthor? You, you, so they could have just sat back and they could have just lived on the fact that they were Queen and they had these iconic songs. So they, they could have done that. Or they could have started a new band with no relation to Queen whatsoever and see how far they got with that. And I'll bet you I, they, I know why they didn't do that. Why is that? Because <laughs> they'd have gotten about as far as I would have. Which is to say you wouldn't have gotten very far at all. Well, I probably wouldn't have started in the first place. But assuming I did start, I wouldn't have gotten very far, yes. So I guess that's kind of what 
the the members of Nirvana did after Kurt Cobain died. They did. Well, I can they, only name the one, but yeah. Well, with Dave Grohl, right? But yep. the the Stevich or whatever the hell his name was, he just no, nah, I'm I'm out, I'm done. And Dave Grohl went off and started Foo Fighters. But here's yeah, the thing. That's what he did. He didn't re inv- not reinvigorate, reinstantiate Nirvana with somebody who's not Kurt Cobain. You can't do that. So what do you? Where do you come down on ACDC? See, the only ACDC I know is with. What's that guy? Is his name Angus or Lemmy? No, well, that's the guitar player's Angus, but the, the lead singer is Brian Johnson. Oh, that's right. The lead singer is Brian Who's Johnson. Who's Lemmy? Is that Motorfinger? Uh, Motorhead? Motorhead, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't think there's you a band called Motorfinger. I know there's a band called Motorhead. But Brian Johnson wasn't the original singer of ACDC. Uh, bon Scott was. Right, that's right. Bon Scott was the original uh, singer of ACDC, and he died. He died in 1980. The band had been around since 1970-something, 1974, 1975, and Bon Scott passed away in 1980. So now what do you do? You're ACDC. You are, you are cresting internationally. You're becoming one of the biggest things to come out of Australia ever. What do you do? See, now this, I think, turned out pretty well because Brian is actually, he's got a very notable voice and... All the ACDC songs that I know of, or at least that I listen to, have him singing. So I think that worked out, but, but I don't... But, but according to you, according to your, yeah, your opening statement, up, they but... shouldn't have done that. Or at the very least, they should have renamed themselves. Yeah, that's true. But I guess those guys are... I don't know. <laughs> I got you, Kandor. You tricked me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, Kandor. I got you. I'll put you, you in a did. corner. You did. Kiss my ass. <laughs> oh, I got you. What about Sabbath? Black Sabbath? Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath had Ozzy. Yeah. Right? And then Ozzy leaves the band, and then you get Ronnie James Dio comes in and fronts. And then they kind of trade places every so often. That's just – that's reminiscent of Van Halen right there. But what do you do? I mean, if you're, if you're, if you're Black Sabbath, I mean, there's, there's a certain amount of currency in the name of the band. I'll give you that. I guess I guess part of it is is how memorable are these people as well. What do you mean right? how memorable they are? Ronnie James like, Dio is beloved. How notable? What's he beloved for? For for being a part of Sabbath, for for fronting Dio. He's beloved in the uh, in the heavy metal in the heavy metal world. He should have done his own thing. Why does he need to join or continue Black Sabbath after the iconic lead singer has left? Why did why do the members so forget about Dio, why do the members of Black Sabbath want to continue? And it's because there's currency in the band. I mean, well, no, I cuz they don't have anything like I couldn't name anybody in Black Sabbath besides Ozzy. All right, but still, I mean Name they, some names cuz they might be familiar, but I, I don't think so. I'm not I'm not well, I mean, do some Yeah, so you don't know either. Of those. That's my point, right? Those guys have nothing else. And so that's what they're trading on, the value of the name. Because they don't have another Ozzy to take them, you know, take them places, get them on the map. All right, so let me ask you this: Would it be okay then to be like the renamed, the renamed Black Sabbath with a different frontman and go about playing Black Sabbath songs? No, because then you're just a cover band. Right, but th- but that's my. Th- I guess that's the point, right? It's more than you're trading on more than just your name. You're trading on these hit songs. You're trading on the music. I mean, you can't be you can't be something other than Queen with some other guy. Like, let's call they call themselves I don't know Princess or something. They they could have done that. Who knows what music you'd have gotten out of it? But you don't because all they do is rehash that Queen shit from Freddie Mercury. But, but it's but it's classic. It's iconic. It's it's super popular. I mean, they were the they were one of the biggest bands in the world. So maybe you could do like one or two songs at a show, but you don't make your whole career out of it like that it's i dis i don't agree with it in any way that's what i'm saying see it's like let's say let's say intern leaves you and you you go out and this you, is not going to go well whatever wherever no, you're about not. to go is not going to end up well but go no ahead. Of, of course not <laughs> go ahead. you you get on the internet and you go buy yourself a real doll and you mold it <laughs> to look exactly like intern and then you have your relationship with intern real doll and you're expecting it to be the same, and you're acting like it's the same, and it's not the same. Clearly, real intern has left you, as she should, and you're stuck with imitation real doll. And you're happy with that. You would be happy with that, according to your your logic in this episode tonight. I guess so. Am I wrong? I, yeah, you are wrong on so See, many different you levels. You wouldn't go out and find something that's not intern? 
I think I would go out and find a live body <laughs> first is what I would do. Well, yeah, I mean, eventually. I mean, the parallel you might draw is finding another another woman who looks like intern. Well, let's say intern had a twin sister. Yeah, that just sounds creepy. It would be like you trying to then court this twin sister. That's just creepy. And you could, you know, you could go get an orange chick. <laughs> the end of the day, really that's all I want. Right. Is Clearly I want to... you I mean, you have banged an orange chick. I just think you want to bang another orange chick. Well, I, I mean, it, you know, it's it's kind of a return to basics. You know? Right. So that I'm just that's what you're faced with, right? You can replace in turn by, you know, getting some some life doll or... real doll or, you know, convincing some, you know, getting an illegal immigrant and, and holding them hostage and transforming them to illegal plastic surgery until they look somewhat like intern or or intern's twin sister or bang an orange chick. And 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 what you're saying is any of those options would pale in comparison to the original, which is absolutely true because my wife is a wonderful woman who well, no, should no, not no. be Let's mocked. Let's not turn this into something sweet. That's not my point. I wasn't going for that. <laughs> I'm trying to, okay. I know what you're doing. <laughs> I will do everything I can to sabotage that and make sure that doesn't happen. I'm saying <laughs> Face between the two, one is really sad and pathetic, and the other could open you up to a world of amazing new experiences. So the alternative is Audio Slave, where you have the the members of Rage Against the Machine who lost their lead singer, who's escaping me at the moment. Zach De La Roca, or Rocha, I don't know. Well, you're pretty good, Zach De La Rocha. So the example here is... I'm sorry, could you say that a little louder? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting up a little fight tonight. Well, you're the one giving me shit, Ganthor, all right? I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm having to raise my game here. So the, the example here is, is Audio Slave. Audio Slave loses, uh, Rage Against the Machine loses Zach De La Rocha and replaces him with Chris Cornell. And Chris Cornell and, and De La Rocha have two totally different vocal... Two different everything. Two different the everything. they have in common is that they're musicians and male. Uh, right. So, like, when you hear... Chris Cornell singing like Killing in the Name of Some of those that work horses are the same that burn crosses. Some of those that work horses are the same that burn crosses. It the music sounds right. The music sounds kick ass. It's Tom Morello, he's jamming, yeah. right? But the sound is Yeah, just, that's just it's weird. It's disconcerting. See, but they did the right thing because they have they have non rage music that they wrote and, and played as well, right? For Audio Slave, that is true. They put out yeah. they put out See, original music. That's fine with that. And okay, they and they're they're kind of doing what I said that Queen should do is or non Queen Princess you called them. Princess <laughs> should do. I downgraded them to Princess. They could play, you know, a song or two from the old stuff. People might like it. They might not. With Chris Cornell, I wouldn't have gone for Rage stuff just because, like you said, he's completely at odds with how that song should be sung. Now, maybe if they had all twisted it up, you know, so they played the music differently, um, covered it differently, then it might have worked for them. But if it was just Rage without Zach, that's just like so he- wrong that they got back together, didn't they? Uh, did they? I think so. I thought they got back together. Oh, yeah, it looks like they did. Oh, yeah, you're... You're you're absolutely right there, Gintor. They they got back together. I should stop doubting you. You should. But you've given me so much reason to doubt you in the past. Whatever. You have. You know what? what? Where would you be without me? A lot happier. Uh. <laughs> in what way? In every conceivable way. What? You'd be happier without me having sex? What? That's a trick question. I want to see how you answer it. What's the question again? Please repeat it. You'd be happier without me? While you were having sex, oh, there's no good way to answer this. No, there's not. No, is I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose not you to should answer just, this. You should just concede. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on. Uh, so, other examples of uh, bands that have just uh, folded up shop and moved on. Um, Blind Melon comes to mind. Yep. Uh, Blind Melon. Heroin lost, overdose, right? Yep. Blind Melon lost their lead singer and said, "Okay, I'm done." Um, Sublime hasn't. I, I kind of jumped in there and screwed up your, your. Well, it will go ahead, Ganthor. It's all about you. 
<laughs> other bands, it always is. Other bands that have uh, that have not moved on. Uh, the Grateful Dead is toured, although they kind of they kind of rename themselves to just the Dead. Pink Floyd a little bit. Yep. See, I don't think they should be Pink Floyd without Roger Waters. I think Pink Floyd should be Waters, Gilmore, Mason, and Wright. Where do you come down on Alice in Chains? They should have uh, finished with uh, what's his name, Lane Staley. Yep. But they went out, and this is this is a this is a weird thing because this has happened a few times. They went out and they found the guy who sounded just like Lane Staley. Oh, uh, the whole the whole rock star plot. Right. So th- this was the same kind of thing. The rock star rock star was the movie with uh, Marky Mark Wahlberg, right? And it was based on the, the idea of the um, a super fan of a band being Steel Dragon. Right. right Steel Dragon. And he gets recruited to be the front man for his all-time favorite band. Right, to replace a front man. To replace a front man, which is based on a true story. Tim Ripper Owens ended up being the lead singer for Judas Priest. When Rob Halford left the band, Judas Priest reached out to this guy because they ended up finding out about him because he was the front of a, like a cover band. And they ended up bringing him on. Yeah, yeah. So where do you come down on those types of things? I just, I mean, I think, see, was was that Judas Priest cut? Was the singer, was he the superstar? Did he make the band? No. Again, no, I guess like, it was more about the music. They liked the whole thing, right? Right, it was more about the music. And, and yeah. he recorded some new albums with these guys. It wasn't like he was just touring and playing the, the old stuff. They actually recorded some new material. Yeah, I know. I, I, I'm just getting, like, was the band anything without this, this certain person? And if they are, then I think it's okay to continue. And if they're not, then I think they should just hang it up and live off the royalty and then try their luck on their own talents and not the name. So now you're tempering your original objection. I f- don't think so. I feel like I'm consistent in that regard. I, I, Maybe I'm just phrasing it better I, well, to try and establish why I think one is okay and why one is not. So you're, you're, you're justifying. Yeah. Why are you giving me an inquisition here? Because I caught you before and I want to catch you again. You're going to catch something all right. I'm going to catch what? Something. Let's keep it up. All right. So you can extend this whole thing, you know, the bands that should have known better, to TV shows that should have known better. Yeah. So there's there's the, the one example is the uh, Eight Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. That's the uh, John Ritter show, right? John Ritter show, right. So John Ritter passes away, and they could have just folded up shop. They could have just tidied it up and would have been would have been done. Uh, but no, they kept going. And they brought on like David Spade of all people. D- David Spade. Yeah. David Spade is is. I don't like David Spade at all. No, I don't either. But so I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, you, you know where else they did this? They did this in the X Files. What? No. Yeah, you don't remember this? Where David Duchovny no. turned around and says, "Screw you guys, I'm going home." Instead of him, they brought on Robert Patrick, and they brought on like Annabeth Gish or something like that. I forget. Because uh, yeah, because they brought on new characters to to what? deal with the fact that the Coveney left, and eventually the Coveney came back and he finished out the series, but he was gone for a couple of seasons. That uh, that's not right. You want you want to test me on this, Gantor? No, I believe you. You I go mean, ahead and do some Google right foo. I'll wait. Do that. That's terrible. You do some Google foo. I'll wait. Go ahead. I said I don't doubt you. I said that's not right, as in that's a dumb decision by them. It what what that they didn't just cancel X Files? X Files yeah. was enormous, bro. Yeah, because of Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny. He was, the, but it was like the biggest show on television at the time. And you're what? You're not gonna, you're not gonna keep that momentum going. Well, I guess you have to, but I'm just saying it was wrong. All right. Well, what? what how about um? How about how about uh? How about Spin City? Spin Spin City was uh, Michael J. Fox, right? Michael J. Never Fox was the him. was the star of that show, and it was a big show, big show. And he ends up getting diagnosed with Parkinson's. And then has to walk away. And do you remember, uh, do you know who they got to replace him? Kirk Cameron. Charlie Sheen. What? Charlie Sheen came on to step in for Michael J. Fox. Well, speaking of Charlie Sheen. Right. He was replaced on... Uh, Two and a Half Men. Yep. Same thing. You know, when he was doing the whole... Winning. In the... Like a tiger blood, man. And everything else. Yeah. He gets bounced off the show. And they bring in Ashton Kutcher. And, Who I actually like, surprisingly. And then the the best part about it, it, it got worse for that show. It was more than just uh, Charlie. The half men left. The guy Angus Angus T. Young, the guy who played the half man in the yeah. Two and a Half Men, yeah. left. Really? Yeah, because he was citing religious problems oh with the gosh. show and the whole routine. So they brought on Amber Tamblin, 
Sounds like a porn star. <laughs> Amber Tamblyn, who was the um, star of the, the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, ends up coming on to the show to be Charlie's long-lost lesbian daughter. That just sounds stupid. So here's, here's the best part. They didn't change the name of the show. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, just... fine. You, you replace Charlie Sheen, fine. You bring on Ashton Kutcher, okay, that's happened before. All right? Yep. But you replaced the half a man in your fucking title with a girl. Yeah, that's... that's... What the fuck is that about? Right, at least fix the name. <laughs> you know who doesn't give a fuck when it comes to stuff like that? Soap operas. Oh, God. Straight up, the part of so and so will now be played by new character name. Well, not new even actor. new character name, new actor name. Right, right. They and don't even just, change the characters. They, it, they don't bat an eye. They don't bat an eye. They just explain it away with plastic surgery or some horrific accident no, or something. Not even lines. that. They they don't. They do not acknowledge it. It's other than a voiceover or a subtitle or something. It's just boom. Continue on. Pretend nothing happened. So. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to admit something here, Gantor. What? I actually know a little bit about this particular topic. I remember when I was a kid, my mom used to watch a lot of soap operas. She used to watch Days of Our Lives. Yeah. And they had a character on Days of Our Lives named Roman Brady. I mean, and Roman Roman and uh, it was Roman and Marlena. And Marlena was uh, was like one of their biggest characters, one of their biggest stars. And he ended up uh, the. He, I don't, how the hell – I don't remember how, how he did this. They, they, he disappeared. Roman disappeared, and this other guy shows up playing another character called, like, John Black or something. And then he's revealed to be Roman Brady with amnesia. <laughs> and he had a facelift, and he was brainwashed by the oh. evil Stefano. Please. Why, why would they go through that effort? I, I don't know, just, but this, this is a soap opera. This is what they do. So, like, oh, okay. I, I know this. I remember this. Why I remember this, I don't know. That's, that's pretty sad. <laughs> but I remember this shit. There was the guy. He, he just, like, he disappeared. The character disappeared, and they brought back this other looking guy, this other different looking guy. Yeah. And they turned him into that character, and he had amnesia oh, and a goddamn facelift. That's crazy. And then somewhere along the, guy, uh, somewhere along the line, they brought back the other guy. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, I, I do not get it. Th- this is this is a uh, you know bands that should have known better. Shows that should have yeah. known better. See, got your losses, we're, man. We're skipping the biggest one of all. Which is that? I'm gonna see if you get it. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. All right. Mo. Oh, the Stooges. Of uh, yes. The Stooges. You can't get rid of Curly and just bring in Shemp. See, I agree with you, but I actually like Shemp. I like Curly first. Shemp is second. I do not like Joe at all. Joe? Nobody remembers Joe. I know, but Joe is the the other doucher. The guy who played Curly had a stroke or something, right? I looked it up one day when I was bored at work, but I don't remember. Because the guy, the, the guy who played Curly, Curly Howard, I think he had a stroke, and that's where Shemp came from. I think you might be right. Right, and then they and then they ended up they ended up bringing on Curly Joe, who was totally different. He was playing like the Curly role, but he wasn't really yeah, Curly. Yeah, he wasn't Curly at all. Right. So that's 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 probably the wor- that is the that, that is the trifecta. Yeah. Not only did they not give up after Curly Howard had the stroke, they introduced another character, and then when they <laughs> when they wanted to go back, or or Shemp was doing something else, I I don't remember exactly what happened, but they brought back the Curly character with a different actor. And they tried to pass it off as Curly. Yeah, that's I mean, just inexcusable. Inexcusable. The Stooges are the worst case scenario, worst offenders. Yep, I agree. So what did we learn, Ganthor? What did you learn? Oh, you got to give me more notice, dude. I, I, Shit. Honest to God. That you would you would choose a real doll. No, no. No, that's not what I said. I'm human. I, that's what... Yep. That is you not what I said. It. No, back, you, you are putting words in my mouth that is roll not what tape. I said. That's not what I'm putting in your mouth. Uh. <laughs> roll the tape. Uh, I had something that I learned, and now I don't remember what it was. I had it in my head, too, and it was insulting towards you. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I hate you so much. I learned, I learned that the Stooges are the, the worst offenders. I think deep down we all knew that. Yeah. So if you think that the Stooges were the worst offenders or that a band should just give up when their lead singer quits or dies, why don't you let us know 
on the Facebook page. Facebook.com slash four listeners or four listeners.com. You can check out the show on Stitcher Radio or on iTunes. Just search for four listeners. It will pop right on up. We thank you for checking us out this week, and we hope that you will check us out again next week. Thanks a bunch, everybody. I want it now. I want it now.